Hello and welcome to Charter Local Edition Northwest. I'm Dana Cowley and my guest today is Matt Watkins. He's the mayor of Pasco. And Matt, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. We appreciate it. Of the Tri-Cities, you have the most dynamic city and the fact that it's doubled in size in just 12 years and it's the most diverse. As a mayor, you're facing challenges and lots of positive improvements too. And can you just discuss with me what you view at this moment as your biggest challenges for Pasco? Uh, certainly. Uh, when, when you're a community that half of your people didn't live in Pasco 12 years ago, it's fair to say you've got a little bit of a, a dynamic community. <laughs> and it's also one of the reasons I moved. I grew up, I was a kid who grew up in Kennewick and I moved to Pasco for my first home because I appreciated that it was the most culturally diverse and growing city and, and also a good value for buying a new home. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the ch challenges, of course, that comes with that is uh, uh, a, a lot of them, but one of them is communications. One of the things that we're wrestling with is whether or not Franklin County as a whole, along with the city of Pasco, should join Benton County and to do a consolidated 911 emergency dispatch center. Mm. One of the problems is if you're uh, using a cell phone, which we're using a whole bunch more, mm -hmm. you pick it up in Pasco, there's a chance it's gonna bounce off a cell phone tower in Kennewick and you're gonna have to be transferred in an emergency from the Kennewick dispatch that's, over to the Franklin County dispatch. That's dangerous. It is. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we've been doing a lot of gr uh, groundwork and I think we're very close to uh, being able to uh, come up with a framework that we might be able to then do a Franklin Benton County 911 emergency dispatch system. And then with all the growth you have, you have challenges in keeping up with all the infrastructure too. Yeah. Because it, everyone needs roads, stores, homes. A, exactly. And as Pasco grows, one of the things is uh, water and sewer. And uh, we, uh, we actually added a new water plant. So we have two water plants in the city, one on the uh, east side of town and one on the west side of town. And so you're set up for any future growth. Now when the new homes come in, you've got the infrastructure so that people have the water they need. Exactly. It's amazing how many millions of gallons of water uh, a day 65,000 people do go through. Mm. Wow. And then tell us some of the positive things. You've been mayor for about three years now, so you've been there in position long enough to enact some change. and. Yet, I'm sure you have great designs and ideas for what you want to see in the future. Yeah, as you go through, one of the things we do is every two years we check in and have an overarching goal list of about 12 or 15 goals. And we accomplish probably about 10 of, or, uh, 10 of them or so every two years. And uh, the, the laundry list of things that we have done has been rather amazing. Uh, and then to couple that with you, you know, there's always more challenges to come along. As the new mayor of Pasco, what's your favorite accomplishment? What have you achieved so far that you like the best? I think one of the things that uh, has been very helpful from a city level is uh, being op open with the public. We do actually mm -hmm. televise our, our meetings on charter uh, charters, for, for example. Uh, folks, I think, as they flip through their uh, uh, TV or go surf the internet, seeing council meetings and uh, planning commission meetings online uh, makes them feel a lot more comfortable that uh, what we're doing as their representatives uh, match their interests as uh, citizens of Pasco. Yeah, that's very convenient. And then what is your top, pri top priority for the thing you'd like to do next? Well, I think it's very important. We have uh, growing kids uh, and being able to be connected to the internet. I want to make sure that everybody has connectivity to the internet and the outside world. Mm -hmm. It's becoming more and more important in a worldwide economy. And uh, Pasco has some challenges and I, hopefully we can uh, be able to help with that. Okay, Matt, thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming to join us and visiting today. Thank you. Matt Watkins, the mayor of Pasco. I'm Dana Cowley and you're watching Charter Local Edition Northwest.